Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. Starting off with business sponsored by Bank of Nevada. Bank on accountability. One of Allegiant Stadium's founding sponsors reportedly owes the Raiders millions of dollars. The Raiders' 2020 deal with smartphone company Rocket includes branding on a 13,000 square foot club inside Allegiant Stadium and the Raiders' practice jerseys. According to Sportico, it was a 10-year, nearly $60 million deal. However, Rocket reportedly missed a $5.9 million payment and failed to pay a single dollar. So far, no comment from Rocket or the Raiders. And a Henderson Hotel and Casino announces today it will be part of a multi-million dollar expansion. Review Journal's Carrie Roper has the details. That's right, Penn Entertainment Inc. announced plans to expand the M Resort in Henderson. The property will double in size with a second hotel tower. The $206 million project is part of a four-property expansion in Illinois, Ohio, and Nevada with more exciting additions in the works. They're going to have about twice as many rooms as they had. It'll take it up to more than 700. And then they're looking at adding some additional amenities, including some convention space. Now, they already do have some convention space at the M Resort, uh, but this expansion is likely to up the ante a little bit and uh, make them a bigger player in the convention industry. And while the addition of the new tower is set to see strong demand from locals, no timeline was announced for the project. In more top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. The judge allows the release of search warrants and financial information regarding Robert Tellis, the former Clark County official charged in the slaying of investigative reporter Jeff Gehrman. The Las Vegas Review Journal filed the motion. We're not just speaking about a private individual here. We are speaking some, about somebody who, while holding public office, allegedly uh, murdered a reporter for reporting on his conduct in office, and whether that uh, government official uh, then should qualify for, for a public defender is certainly the people's business, Your Honor. In the financial affidavit, Tellus wrote he earned $10,000 a month, his wife earned $10,500 a month, and that he owes five rental properties, paid for with a loan, but had yet to receive income from them. Over in West Las Vegas, police are reporting a car chase ending with a deadly crash. They say a vehicle with three people inside drove away from officers at around 12.30 a.m. Then, after four miles, crashed, leaving one person dead at the scene. West Lake Mead Boulevard was closed between Rock Springs Drive and North Rainbow Boulevard. U.S. Highway 95 was also closed at Lake Mead. Plus, casino industry executives are taking over Las Vegas this week as the four-day Global Gaming Technology Expo opens today. The latest in gaming technology is being shown at the Venetian Expo, along with more than 70 panels and education sessions. More than 18,000 attendees are expected. In Weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Expect a pleasant night in the 80s, which should cool to the 70s later tonight, then 60s early morning. Now a look at your 7-day forecast. On Tuesday, we're seeing sunny skies with a high of 92 and a low of 65 degrees. Similar conditions for the rest of the work week. Then some clouds roll in for the weekend with highs sinking into the 80s starting on Saturday. And some rain chances up to 15% on Sunday. Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. Ahead of the Raiders Monday night football matchup versus the Chiefs, defensive tackle Matthew Butler made a young fans day who had a sign that stated all he wanted was a selfie with a Raider. For all of your Raiders news following tonight's game, go to VegasNation.com. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. Strong messages of the dangers of fentanyl may be putting a dent in the death toll in Clark County. After police released a video in September showing a fentanyl overdose, new data shows a decline in deaths at least through mid-September. 144 fentanyl-related deaths, which is a 19% decrease from a year ago. 
and hundreds gathered at Lorenzi Park Saturday morning for the 31st Disability Awareness Day. The event brought organizations together to offer resources for housing and support groups for those living with disabilities. More than 350 people attended to get valuable info, enjoy food, drinks, and entertainment. Sports brought to you by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. A day before the Golden Knights open their 2022-2023 season, the team has announced that they have signed defenseman Nicholas Haig to a three-year contract extension worth an average annual value of just over $2.2 million. The 23-year-old missed all of training camp and the preseason while waiting for a new contract. Haig has appeared in 142 NHL games, all with the VGK and has recorded 42 points over three seasons. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Baseball's division series open Tuesday and the Dodgers are minus 215 favorites at Circa Sports to win the series against the Padres. In the other National League series, the Braves are minus 190 favorites to advance over the Phillies. The Yankees are minus 220 favorites over Cleveland in one American League series and the Astros are minus 225 favorites in the other series with the Mariners plus 195 under dogs. In entertainment sponsored by Best Mattress, Best Service, Best Selection, Best Price Guaranteed. The 28th Las Vegas Renaissance Festival rules over Sunset Park. The three-day festival is a staple for thousands of locals and visitors. The park turned into a medieval community over the weekend with many dressing as elves, fairies, trolls, and royals as part of its historical reenactments and exploration of different guilds. And there's still a few weeks left in October with three big Oktoberfest celebrations ahead in Vegas. Hopper House kicked off its 18th Oktoberfest on September 9th, which runs until October 31st. On October 15th, Container Park's Beer Walk returns. And Pine Dining, the pop-up dinner series at Mount Charleston Lodge, will host two Oktoberfest experiences on October 15th and 16th. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have a Roku device, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.